Hey everybody, Miles J here, and welcome to Q&A with Miles J number 21, 21, So sorry it's taken so long for me to make another Q&A. I was running around in places doing things and Q&A's actually I don't really have an excuse. Um, I just thought it would be a good break, you know, to stop at 20 because that's like a nice, good, even number. I thought it would be like cool to stop at 20 and then like turn 20 and then like move on to 21 or something. I don't know. It's just... Anyway, let's get on to the questions. We have a lot. How excited are you for Playlist Live? Well, if y'all don't know what Playlist Live is, it's this little convention thing for people who are on the internet, who come together and do internet things and people party. I'm going to be going to that, and that is in Florida, which is this person, Will, or Shep689 on YouTube. You should go check him out. Um, who films daily vlogs, and he's going to be there. He lives there, and he's going to drive over to Orlando, which is where it's going to be. And we're actually gonna stay in a hotel together, Will and RJ and me. And you know, we'll see, we'll see how that works out. It, it should be interesting. I'm really envious of your confidence. You always seem so sure of yourself. Do you ever get self-conscious? Yes, honey, actually I'm self-conscious all the time, which kind of helps me be more confident in myself because I know myself, I'm like very aware of what I'm doing, and I'm fully aware of how ridiculous I look. But I take pride in that because this is it. If you can't handle it, then you can move on. Nobody's keeping you here, you know, nobody is making you stay here. They can bounce. This is just like a general statement. I'm not talking to anybody in particular. If you were stuck on an island for four years, what YouTuber would you take with you and why? Now, I thought about this like premeditated like when I was reading the question and I would have to say Soundly Awake or Nicola Foti from YouTube. He would be the best person to be stuck on an island with because he, no matter where we are, I feel like he would be able to find something good to eat and we would feast a lot so we would be able to survive and you know we always have these great ass random completely spontaneous conversations so there'd be a lot of communicating going back and forth so that way we don't go fucking crazy and we both have great fashion sense so we could probably come up with some kind of islander fashion from like leaves and pineapple you never know what do you think about the new dance craze, the Harlem Shake? I think that the Harlem Shake is highly overrated. I mean, I know some people really like it, but when I first saw it, it reminded me of this one craze that happened a long time ago. I forget what it's called, but it went a little something like this. Get down. <laughs> So it was like a Japanese song, so obviously I can't remember the words right now, but that's kind of like how the melody went. Yeah, it reminded me of that. I was like, okay, I kind of seen this already. That's how I felt. That being said, though, there is actually one Harlem Shake video I absolutely love it to death. It is the Cora Harlem Shake. Oh my god, I will link you guys down in the description or somewhere on the screen. It is the best thing ever. If you guys don't know what the Legend of Cora is, then you probably won't enjoy it that much, but I fucking love it because there's like an upside down bowl and twerking. You have to see it. You have to see it. What was it like working with Miss Willem? Okay, so I was really fucking like scared. I was like, okay, so how am I gonna present myself? Like, because I know Willem works a lot on camera. So, I don't have that experience. I was like completely mortified. I don't know if that came across on camera. I'm pretty sure it was just mostly him doing the talking and I was just kind of like whatever, bitch. So, that was our relationship on camera. Off camera, he's actually really sweet and he's completely kind and he was asking me questions. We were talking while we were doing my makeup and it was absolutely fabulous and I hope I get another chance to work with him again because it was really fun. Hey Willem! It was nice working with you. Bitch. What was your favorite part about transforming into a drag queen? I would have to say like all of it. The face is like the most exciting part for me because then it's like I get a new face and then I get new hair and then I get clothes and then I get heels. So I love all of it. Even the making up a different persona. What's a day in the life of Miles J like?
typically it. How would you describe a perfect boyfriend? <laughs> A perfect boyfriend will be a boy who cooks for me, cleans up after himself and me, follows my every order, gives me angry hot sex whenever I want it, lets me talk, and is completely and utterly owned by me and isn't allowed to talk to any other boy ever, and only speaks when spoken to. That's my perfect boyfriend. <laughs> Call me. When is it okay to talk to a stranger on public transport? When you so close that they ask is in your face. So then you like all up in your personal bubble. So it's like okay to talk to each other then because you know you already really know each other right now. You done sniffed her asshole. Do you plan on cosplaying? If so, what might that be? For sure I know that I want to cosplay as Fran from Final Fantasy 12. I almost said 13. She's like this bunny rabbit bitch. I was like, oh, I could totally be that girl. I could totally be her. I mean, minus the talking and riddles and shit. What would you do if you woke up white? I would be really disappointed because then I'd have to start wearing sunscreen and shit when I've already got this natural melanin that protects me from sunlight and sunburns and stuff. And I'd be like, damn. Now I have to spend more money trying to get some more lotions and shit. Then I have to switch out some of my makeup because my brown makeup would no longer fit my face. And then I wouldn't be able to make as many videos because y'all seeing like a white person talking in an accent like Laquita, that would be out of the question because I would be considered a racist. As well as Rosario and pretty much every other bitch that I've made fun of and do on this channel. So this channel will probably have to take a completely different turn and I might just stick to beauty tutorials if I was white. <laughs> Woo! That would suck. So, yay for being black! Woo! How do you ask if someone is gay without sounding mean? Well, it depends on what your intentions are. Why do you need to know if this person is gay? Ask yourself that. Are you going to date them? You just want to know, just, you know, to know. So, if you're, like, going to date them, then you should probably talk to them. If they want to, they'll let you know through the conversation that you guys have. If you just want to know, just to know, you can go ahead and ask them. But just let it be known that not all people appreciate it when you come up to them and ask them about their personal business. Some other people don't give a shit. So, the best way to approach the situation is to just talk to them. And if you cannot be bothered to talk to them, then don't ask at all. What's your favorite feature on a man? Well, I don't know. Maybe like all of them. Like everything. The eyes, the eyebrows for sure. You know, the eyebrows, the lips, the nose, the cheekbones, the neck collar bone, the arms, you know, the man titties, the stomach, the butt, the thigh, Never the feet. Never. But everything else and up, girl, I am a full body inspector. I <laughs> that sounded so wrong, but it's true. Last question. Why do you wear a bra when you have no boobs? It's not meant to offend you. I'm just saying it's a waste of time and money for something you don't have. <laughs> girl. You didn't know that you could also use your breast bra for a pocket. Look at that. Efficient, tiny, and concealable. What do you say about that? I could put my powder right up in here. You see that? Look, a brush right up in there. You see what I'm saying? Look, my gum. Boom. And this is for men too. So if you ain't got no titties and you wearing a bra pocket, I don't smoke, but I do have these cigarettes as props. Look, cigarettes. And then look, I'm gonna jump up and down. Can you keep up? Baby, let me lose my breath. Hit my heart, let me lose my breath. Hit my heart, let me lose my. My palate fell out, but that was it. It, it holds. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, use it as a pocket, especially when you're on the dance floor, getting your groove on, popping your pussy on the dance floor. You know what I'm saying? No one's gonna try to grab it because they're not gonna reach in your shirt and pull your tit out. That is one of the reasons why I wear bras. And not only that, but they're really fucking stylish, so. Get on my face. I'm talking about waste of time and money. What you mean, time? This bra took only but. 0.2 seconds to put on. Thank you guys for watching Q&A number 21. My battery is dying. I hope it doesn't cut me off. And if it does, I love you guys so much. Bye. Thanks for asking questions. If you have more questions, please comment in the comments down below and I'll make sure to answer them in the next Q&A. Yeah, I love you. Talk to you guys a little later. Bye. Q &A.
Subscribe!